Okay, so we fire up a browser, and uh, just to prove that I'm uh, <laughs> I'm open, I won't use Internet Explorer. I'll use uh, Google Chrome, and I go to http colon slash slash www dot primechallenge dot org, and to enter the Prime Challenge, I click this link. It shows me the five steps, and uh, the step one is to take out a free Windows trial subscription. So I can either watch the video or I can sign up for Azure now. When I go here, it offers me to try it now. Um, it says I get £130 worth of Windows Azure to create virtual servers with which I can do the calculations. And uh, so we'll click the Try It Now button. And it wants me to log in. Now, if you have an account, then you put in your credentials into here. But if you don't, then you'll click this button here, which is to sign up for a new account. So if you've already got a Hotmail address, Outlook.com or a Live.com address, then you can use those accounts because they are Microsoft accounts, otherwise known as Live IDs. So let's go through this again. So I love Primes, June the 20th, 1980, mail. So let's say um, it's uh, I love primes at let's say live.com. You could choose any one of those, but well, let's say uh, live.com. Uh, then I can create a password. Okay, then if I ever lose that password, um, how can I reset it? Well, I can um, I can give them a number that they can phone me on. So I would I would log the call and then they would phone me up. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. And I could give them an alternate uh, email address. I love primes at primechallenge.org. Um, I could, if I wanted to, choose a security question, um, but I can go with that one. Um, and then I specify the country, United Kingdom, my postal code, and then I type in the uh, capture, WWGMSTYS4, it looks like a Y to me. Uh, I'm not going to have them sending me any email, and I click accept. Okay, so that's now signed me up for an account. It's welcomed me to Windows Azure. So I could sign in. Uh, it tells me I, I haven't created any subscriptions yet. So I could either sign up here for a free trial, or I could, if I wanted to, do exactly the same thing as I did before. Go to the Prime uh, Challenge website. Enter the Prime Challenge. Go to step one and sign up for Azure. Now, so whether I click this button or whether I click this button, they both do the same thing. Let's uh, let's do this one. Okay, so it wants to know some information about me. Um, most of this stuff has been put in there because it's pulled it all out of my um, my account. Um, so it could either send a text message or call me. I'll put in to send a text message. So I need them to send a text message to me. Okay, so I now have to verify the code and they sent me a text message and the code was 473470. And now I can enter credit card details. That's a bit better.
gefunden. Okay, so all of that information is filled out, and now I click the... I'm, I'm going to agree to the terms. I will bail out of the email offers, and I click Sign Up. Which is now complete. Okay, so this is the portal I will come to, um, but the most interesting place to go is the portal itself. If I go to the portal... Hi, I love. <laughs> okay, so then I take a tour. It tells me how I can do these things. You might want to actually read this, but I'm just whizzing through it very quickly. And the commands and notifications. And that now means I have a um, I have a subscription. It shows me what my credit status is. So I have 130 pounds available to spend, and I can do things now. Like, for example, I could create. A virtual machine and um, I won't do this now because there's a separate video of it but this could be I could create a number of virtual machines I can create up to 20 um, separate servers each one of them running the prime calculation programs um, in terms of pricing um, if we go uh, I think it's here view my bill and I go to pricing. Then I'll show you what you can get. Um, right, so. Um, Linux, for example, um, I could get an extra small instance which has a shared CPU, 768 megabytes of RAM, it's not particularly powerful, um, and that is uh, 1.3 pence per hour out of that allowance of £130 that I have. So it'll take a long time to get through that. Um, I could get a small instance which has a single core and uh, 1.75 gigs of RAM, and that's 3.9 pence per hour. And I, you know, you can see what happens is the number of cores goes up. So I go from one core to two to four, uh, right up to eight cores, um, and the price goes up. So that's 30.6 pence per hour. And um, something like this: the A7 8 56 gigabytes, eight cores, 82. 0.1 pence per hour. So I would I would think that you with the prime challenge would probably um, be using something from this set of machines. Okay, that's it. Um, when you want to go back to the portal, you go. Uh, let me just go do this whole thing again. Uh, you just go to manage. dot windows azure. dot com. That takes you back to the portal. If you're not logged in, you'll be prompted to log in again using your Live ID or your Microsoft account. Um, but if you are logged in, it'll just take you straight in there. Okay, and there's a place to create virtual machines, and I'll show you that in a video later. I hope this has been useful.